Hey guys, so I am here today to give you a nice simple makeup look. I am super tired today. The time change was this morning, so I'm pooped. Anyways, this is my favorite moisturizer at the moment. It's from Garnier, and I am going to put that all over my face before we even get started with anything makeup related. My skin has been super dry lately, so I am caking on that moisturizer, baby. And yes, my face gets super red. Yeah, look at my hand compared to my face. It's bad. But anyways, next thing we're going to do is put on some lip balm because, again, my lips have been super chapped, super dry, and I just needed some chapstick. Then we're going to go in with some foundation, and this is a new e.l.f. beauty sponge that I'm trying out today. Um, I didn't love it. When I put it up against my face, it made a really loud noise. It was, I, I don't know, it's kind of strange. I'm, I'm still feeling it out. But anyways, I'm just going to put a light layer of that foundation all over my face, and of course, you can skip foundation if you're not the kind of person that likes to wear foundation every day. You definitely don't have to. Um, I just really like to be full coverage. So of course, I am going to put foundation all over and I'm also going to conceal, but totally optional. Whatever you like to do for your face, of course, do that. And you can always still just follow along with the rest of the steps after. So I'm going to go in with that Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer that I loved. I think I have shown this in my other videos. Take that underneath both of my eyes, cover up those sleepy bags I got under there, as well as on top of my eyes, just to cover any redness or veininess in my eyelids. And then I'm going to go in with this liquid highlighter. I have been obsessed with this lately. I really love it for a light makeup day just because I think it makes you look really dewy and fresh. So just taking that on the back of my hand and then stamping my beauty sponge into it and putting it on the high points of my face where I normally would highlight if I was using a powder highlight. And I just really think that it makes you look very youthful and dewy and fresh and I just really love the look that a liquid highlight gives. And of course, again, you want to do this before you put any powder on your face. So before I even set my under eyes, that's why I'm going in with the liquid highlighter. And then I'm going to go in with my setting powder and I'm only going to set my under eyes and my eyelids today. I want to keep my look really fresh and I don't really want a big cakey powdery mess on my face. So I'm only going to set where I put that concealer underneath my eyes and on my eyelids. And then this is a new e.l.f. bronzer as well, and I really, really like the tone of this. Um, I've only used it a couple times now, but I've really been liking it. Just going in with a dual fiber brush, as I like to do with my bronzer. And just not necessarily contouring, but just kind of putting this on the outsides of my face where I would normally contour, just to really warm up my face and give me some dimension. And I kind of forgot to show you what I'm doing here, but basically I'm just taking that same translucent powder and cleaning up my bronzer area a little bit. I got a little heavy handed, so I just wanted to tone it down and really blend it all together. Now I'm going in with this e.l.f. blush. I really like a nice peachy tone for light days because it just really resembles a nice kind of natural flush. So I think that this shade of blush is super pretty for a more natural makeup look. Now going in with one of my favorite highlighters by Maybelline, it's the Master Chrome in Rose Gold with my highlighting brush and just going to hit my cheekbones where I would normally highlight. You don't have to do powder highlight on top of that cream highlight that we already did, but as you guys know, I love to highlight and I love to look glowy, so I had to take it a step further. Now just setting everything with my favorite NYX Matte Setting Spray and just letting all those powders sink in. Now on to the brows. I sped through this because it honestly takes me 10 minutes and nobody wants to see that. But basically, I'm just doing my brows as usual and, you know, nothing special. I try to not go too overboard with shaping my brows if I'm doing a natural look. I want them to look more feathery and fluffy. So that's what I'm kind of trying to do here is mimic the hair strokes. Then I'm going to go in and set the brows with this NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. 
So what I'm going to do is brush them all straight up with the eyebrow gel on both sides. And then I will take the spoolie on the other end of my eyebrow pencil and just kind of lay them down where I want them and make sure that none of the hairs are sticking out crazy. And that's what they end up looking like. Not necessarily matching, but good enough. So then I'm going to go in with that exact same bronzer I used on my face and just grab a blending brush. And I'm basically just going to buff this into the crease of my eyes. Nothing fancy. I really am not being precise in any shape or form when I'm doing this. I'm really just running it all over my crease, all over my lid. Kind of honestly pretty sloppy. It doesn't have to be anything special. Just kind of giving your eye a little bit of something without really doing a whole lot. And now grabbing a little pencil brush in that same exact bronzer. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this underneath my lower lash line. Again, just adding a little bit of something under there so it's not completely bare when we go in with mascara. So then I'm going to grab my lash curler and curl my eyelashes. For me, this is essential. I don't ever put mascara on without curling my lashes. It used to be really intimidating to me, but honestly, I cannot live without it. I think it makes a huge difference in your mascara. So now I'm taking this L'Oreal Volume Mascara. Uh, it's one that has fibers, but I'm only using the step one. It has a pretty nice mascara. I just don't love the fiber aspect of it. So I'm just giving my lashes a coat of this. It does a nice job of separating my lashes as well as giving me some length. And then I'm going to go in with the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Again, you don't have to do two mascaras, but I just think that this combo is really nice because that L'Oreal one really will separate my lashes. Here you can kind of see that one has the Bad Gal Bang and that one does not yet. I really just think that this gives nice volume, so I just added in this step. Again, not necessary, but it is what it is. And very last, we're going to go in with lips. This is just a tinted lip balm. I like to keep it pretty simple, not go heavy with the lips when we're doing a simple look like this. So this is just a tinted lip balm and it gives your lips just a little something without really having to do a full lip. And that is about it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Make sure to leave me any comments of what makeup look you would like to see next. And I will see you guys in my next video.